I just want to say, first and foremost, Black Lives Matter. Okay. You know the vibes. Yo, who am I? I go by J. I ain't on no savage shit. Free JT, I am that bitch, but I am not your bitch. I still pop my lips, still snap. Yeah. You know the vibes. What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad is your girl, J. Already it's know. J. Welcome back to J Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. Today is going to be a reaction video from Easy and Nada, you guys. If you are one of those people that were, you know, asking me and requesting and telling me, J, go back and catch up on the old videos. This is one of them videos, okay, that I'm catching up on. So today's video is going to be why we aren't together anymore in the truth. Okay. They are so good at acting and lying and being in love and flirtatious and cute and they're good at a lot of stuff. All right, so did this actually happen? Many months later. Um, so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire to a new it. one. Ooh, that's how behind I am. Sheesh. This was going on all over Twitter, all over the internet and everybody was like really 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 confused so I'm just gonna like you know backtrack a little bit and catch myself up on what actually happened and hearing it from the sources the main sources the only sources mouth but it's kind of hard to believe them because you know they do their own little line stuff Anywho, before we get into this video, please make sure you are subscribed. Click all links in my description, you guys. Like this video, comment, share all that good and great, whole lot of great vibes going on, big period stuff. Anywho, I'm ready to get into this video, so let me go ahead and set myself up for greatness. Got my keyboard in my lap. Let's get it. Why did you guys unfollow each other? Why haven't you guys been hanging around each other? Not too long ago, I was going through a lot of things with our family. And Social media sensations Young Easy and Natalie Odell have taken the internet by storm. But a storm. Like the storm outside. Black Lives Matter and everything that's been going on yes. I am hurt if you haven't been living under a rock and not knowing what's going on with this George Floyd shoot everything we've been dealing with for years comment hashtag Black Lives Matter and I just want to say you know we have to take a break from social media because it was just a lot going a on lot. in our personal lives but it's just like as far as posting we can't fake content and act mm -hmm. like we're super happy and act Thanks. like oh let's do like some challenges and stuff like that when all these real issues are going on in the fucking world though okay so i want to start off by saying that and with that being said if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button i just feel like ever since we kind of came out like me and natalie our story there's been a lot of drama going behind the scenes and it's it, it's really emotional for me to make this video with the protests and stuff going on um along with that it's just like so many things have you know transpired with me and natalie and it's kind of just new for us and there's a lot of things that we aren't showing you guys because we can't pick up a camera 24 7 Thanks. you know but it's like i want to be truthful i want to be honest with you guys so you guys know what's i going. like her you guys been having questions about yo why did you guys unfollow each other why haven't you guys been hanging around each other? They you know unfollowed each other? If you guys noticed in some of the videos, like, a few of them were pre-recorded before all of this stuff was going on and stuff like that. And it's just like, you guys could tell that there has been something going on. And today I'm here to address it. I'm going to um, talk to Natalie for the first time. And I'm kind of nervous, um, you know, and, and she has some news that she wants to tell you guys. I already know. And it is very heartbreaking, but, you know dealing with our friendship for over three years it's something that i can't handle um but i just want to you know we want to keep you guys updated what's going on and what's going to happen between me and natalie 
before I actually, um, you know, head to Natalie's house, I kind of want to sit here and talk about, like, you know, what's been going on with me, and then she can discuss, like, what she's been kind of going through. I guess we can talk about it together. But pretty much, if you guys haven't seen or don't know what's going on between me and her, not too long ago, I, you know, I was going through a lot of things and behind the scenes with, you know, her family. And I had made some tweets, you know, I made some tweets and it was pure selfishness, pure emotions that came up that I was triggered by from the past, you know, and I didn't know how to express that and I decided to take it to social media because I'm so used to this social media. Lord life, Jesus, you know, we gotta like, stop this doing that. things you shouldn't do yeah. because it will ruin a relationship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like me doing that was childish. Me doing that was not being in control of my emotions and I have been doing so much work on myself and I've been growing and learning how to deal with my emotions and the fact that I am preaching about growth, I took a huge step back and I just want to say I apologize. My actions did cause a reaction and how Natalie is feeling about certain things, I completely understand and I have to respect. So I, I you know, I'm only human. And I'm not going to sit here and justify my actions. I'm not going to sit here and say like, oh, because I'm human, I get to do this. Oh, what? I can't feel certain emotions. And it's just like, no. You do something and it's a reaction to it. And depending on how the person can handle what you do is it's going to determine, you know, the, your future together. Or And you can't control nobody's like way of reacting to what you say or what you do. You can't control them. You know what I'm saying? So if they get mad as fuck. They get mad, or if they just nonchalant, don't care, then they don't, they don't give a fuck. Anybody's, you know, whether it's friends, family, anything. But So I'm going over to talk to her about it right now, and um, like I said, there's something that she really needs to tell everybody, you know. Uh, it's, it's something that, I, you know, if I wasn't working on myself, I feel like I wouldn't be able to handle, but... I understand what she has to say and, you know, things that she needs to do. You know, I'm going to head over there right now and take you guys with me and, you know, um, it's... You know when they say, like, when it's bad, it's bad, and when it's good, it's good. Yo, when they are serious, they are serious. Like, I be stressed out with them. Even though this is old content, sheesh. It's been one hell of a roller coaster of emotions, y'all. Especially, like not coming out too long ago how I'm in love with this woman. All right, well, I'm just, I'm just gonna go over there and talk about it there and I'll see you when I get there. So, my Natalie's cool right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling so many emotions right now. It's like, oh my God. There's so many emotions that I feel and certain things because I can't change them. It's just like hard, but it's how you deal with certain things, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm right now. <sighs> hey. How's it yes, going? Yes, wagon. Wait, yeah. suitcase. How you doing? Okay, so this is my spoon when she went to Miami. Well, she don't even be saying the shit back. Easy be like, I love you. Nettie don't say nothing. Easy be like, I miss you. Nothing. <laughs> that would hurt my feelings. Uh, do you have my weights? Huh? Do you have my weights? Yeah, I brought them in the car. I see you brought your suitcase and stuff down. Okay. Alright, let me get your weights. Hold on. That's good enough. Well, What's right. that? Um, that's all your weights and stuff. Um, do you want you know before everything happens, like kind of like talk and just make sure we're both on the same page, especially as far as communication and where my head's at and where your head's at. Um, I actually, you know, I'm I need to get on the road. She is so okay. It's a long drive, so I wasn't really like planning at the top. I was just kind of looking this up. You know? I mean, I just feel like. Can I please just get a conversation? You know, I just need... I'm building myself to be that woman. Okay? 
I ain't leaving you no time to have no conversation. I was gonna put this in the car. I am gonna put this in the car and I'm driving away. Big period. I would have been like, yeah, I got some time to talk. It ain't no, can I please? Y'all know how them lesbians do. They be begging. Can I please? Bitch. That's when I start getting aggressive because I don't like my significant other who I look to to be begging me. Beg me a little bit, but don't over beg me. You know what I'm saying? Because then you're going to get on my nerves. Just don't get on my nerves when you be begging. A little bit more clarity and, you know, just making sure that I'm not, you know, thinking any other way except for exactly what you tell me. What? Please. Just a conversation. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Well. I hope you take your stuff upstairs and then we can talk upstairs. No, no, no. We can just talk right here. Okay. Just talk now. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Alright. 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 Alright.
baby girl, <laughs> J-Vibes, you know the vibes, you know the fuck going on, and I'm out this bitch. Yeah. You know the vibes. It's Jay. <laughs>